Welcome everyone. Uh, we're going to have ministry moments in the forms of videos uh, and, and we hope that you enjoy them. Today's is on baptism as this Sunday is baptism of our Lord. So we're going to have a reading for you from the Bible and then we also have our recognition of the anniversaries of baptisms that we had in 2020. All right, today I chose the World Bible and this story is about Jesus being baptized. So get ready, John the Baptist called out. The Messiah is coming. An old man sat on the bank of the Jordan River. We've been waiting a long time for the Messiah, he grumbled. A little girl ran up to John. Maybe you are the Messiah. Not me, said John. Look, he pointed to a man walking toward them. I baptize you with water, but he will baptize you with God's spirit. And the crowd wondered, could this be the Messiah? The man approached the crowd. It was Jesus. So one of the comments that they have here is, I wonder how long they had to wait. Like, was it an hour? Probably longer. <laughs> I think people would get tired of waiting based on what I've seen. Yeah, at least in the last year. Yeah. Jesus waded into the water. John baptized Jesus by dunking him in the river. When Jesus came out of the water, heaven opened and the crowd heard a voice. They looked around. Where did it come from? The voice came from nowhere and everywhere, all at once. It sounded different to each person. God's voice, the little girl whispered. You are my son, said the voice. You are the beloved. With you, I am well pleased. The old man pointed. Something flew down from the sky. It looked like a dove. It was God's own spirit, and the crowd gasped. This was the only one they had been waiting for, Jesus was the Messiah. God's own voice said so. God's spirit was upon him. So an interesting question, Peter. What do you think God's voice sounded like? I don't know. I, I, I kind of like the uh, God's voice came from no, or the voice came from nowhere and everywhere all at once. So that, that was an interesting point for me. Yeah, it's kind of awesome when you think about it, yeah. like nowhere and everywhere at once. Yeah. Well, and so, sometimes we like to think that it's a big booming voice, but then there's also kind of that still silence or the voice that that is, uh, um, you know, almost whispered, like, like yeah. the little girl's voice. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll have to wait and find out. Yes, we will. The story goes on. It does. So um, God's voice was the one that told everybody that Jesus was the Messiah and the spirit came down and... Um, I don't know what else to say about that. I think that's our story. Yep. So we'll do our recognition for the anniversary of baptism. If you have a candle uh, or, or anything, or, or like our little electric tea lights that we have here, uh, you can go ahead and grab that uh, and, uh, and light it. All right, the candle you received at baptism can be used. We remember that in baptism we are told, let your light so shine before others that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. A reading from 2 Corinthians. If anyone is in Christ, there is a new creation. Everything old has passed away. See, everything has become new. And we have a reading from 1 John. Beloved, let us love one another, because love is from God. Everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. At this time, uh, we invite you to uh, mark the sign of your of the cross on your on your forehead or or a person or a person near to you. We do have a bowl of water. We can you can do that with a bowl of water to remember your baptism. And let us pray. Gracious God, we thank you for the new life you give us through holy baptism. Especially, we ask you today to bless Hadley, Emerson, Lila, Miles and Andrew on the recognition of their baptisms. Continue to strengthen them with the Holy Spirit and increase in them your gifts of grace, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord, the spirit of joy in your presence. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us for this ministry moment and we hope it has blessed your day.